The Princess and the Pea is a Danish fairy tale about a prince who wanted to marry a real princess. One of the most famous bedtime stories in the world, The Princess and the Pea, is written by one of most notable fairy tales authors, Hans Christian Andersen. There was once a prince who wanted to marry a princess, but she must be a real princess, mind you. So he traveled all around the world, seeking such one. But everywhere something was in the way. Not that there was any lack of princesses, but he could not seem to make out whenever they were real princesses. There was always something not quite satisfactory. Therefore, home he came again, quite out of spirits for he wished so much to marry real princess. One evening a terrible storm came on. It thundered and lightered, and the rain poured down indeed. It was quite fearful. In the midst of it there came a knock at the town gate, and the old king went out to open it. It was a princess who stood outside, but oh dear, what a state she was in from the rain and bad weather. The water drops from her hair and clothes. It ran in at the tips of her shoes and out at her heels. Yet she insisted she was a real princess. Very well, thought the old queen, that we shall presently see. She said nothing but went into the bedchamber and took off all the bedding. Then light a pea on the sucking of the bedstead. Having done this, she took twenty mattresses and laid them upon the pea and placed twenty either down beds on the top of mattresses. The princess lay upon this bed all the night. In the morning, she was asked how she had had sleep. Oh, most miserably, she said. I scarcely closed my eyes the whole night through. I cannot think what there could have been in the bed. I lay upon something so hard that I am quite black and blue all over. It is dreadful. It was now quite evident that she was a real princess, since taught twenty mattresses and twenty either down beds she had felt the pea. None but a real princess could have such a delicate feeling. So the prince took her for his wife, for he knew that in her he had found a true princess, and the pea was preserved in the cabinet of curiosities, where it is still to be seen unless someone has stolen it, and this, mind you, is a real story.